This video shows instructors how to work with images using Design Plus. I've created my content. Let's say that I want to add an image of myself. I'm going to put my cursor in the, the content block where I want that image. And instead of using either the Embed Image tool or Canvas's Images tool, I'm going to click on this little blue V right here and select Upload or Embed Image. It's a lazy hot summer afternoon and my computer doesn't want to work. Um, this is a new tool that comes with Design Plus that gives a little bit more flexibility in working with images. I'm going to click Choose an Image. Um, I'm not going to bore you while I search for an image of me. Let's use this picture of a modem. Um, I have no idea why that's on my computer right now. You can see it pulls it in here and then we've got some editing tools that we can use. Um, I can do select all and that positions my little frame over top of the whole thing or I can drag and drop using my mouse. Right here I can choose an aspect ratio and it will change the size of my frame. And when I finally do embed this, it's only going to embed what's inside that blue box. This is particularly important if you remember that your banner image has to be a 10 by 3 ratio. So I can select 10 by 3 and I know that whatever is in that frame will fill a banner nicely. One thing to note is that down here in the bottom screen of the screen, as I drag this a little bit larger, you see image can fill 93% of the full canvas content without distorting. Basically, if you have a lower quality image, it can only show up as being so wide before it starts getting pixelated and yucky. And that down there tells you what that point is. More than likely for something that can span 93%, you're going to be okay because it's not going to pixelate very much. If you see 22% and you try to make it go the whole width of the window, it's going to look awful. I can resize over here. Um, I tell people that I usually choose to start with 200 as my um, my starting size. And when I'm ready to go, I click Crop and Resize. I can give it a file name to put into the Canvas files. If I upload to Canvas, that just puts it in my Files tool. If I upload and embed, you're going to see that takes the picture and inserts it right here with just the part of the picture that I selected. Now, if you're looking at that like me, you're probably thinking, well, I mean, if you're a student, first of all, you're wondering why your professor put a picture of a modem in here, but you're also noticing that the spacing between the words and the image looks a little bit weird, and honestly, it's just not a very good, it's just a block of a square. So we can edit our image and um, edit the properties of the image within the page. You should remember the little target for customize current element style. And since I have clicked on that picture, when I click on that, this lets me do a number of things. First, I can give an alt text tab. If I decide that that image is too small, I can adjust the size here over in the Design Plus tools. I'm going to make that 250 pixels wide. I can align the image, and when I align it to the left, you can see immediately the text is spaced nicely, and if I were to do more text, I need to break it so that it's There you go, that's what I wanted you to see. You can see that it um, it now wraps the text nicely around the image, which is much better than having the what you usually get with Canvas. I can also apply a frame to it, a style, just to make it look a little bit better. Now, having done that, you can start to see, hey, look, the banner image is just a picture. I can do exactly the same thing. So if there's a banner image that I want to use that is not in my list uh, when I use the customized banner image, 
you know, I can come in here and I can say, I'm going to choose a different image for my banner. Uh, I'll use my modem again. Why not? I'm going to make it a 10 by 3. I'm going to expand it so that it's covering as much as possible. I'm going to select the red lights because those are cool. And then I'm going to crop the image, upload, and embed. And you will see that it is going to replace my banner image with a light speed 1200. Wow. Um, so that's just a little crash course in working with images in Design Plus.